I'm here to answer Christina Pena's very timely question. In fact, it's so timely that it's eerie because um, I, in Front Row CEO, when we run it this next time, we are updating our content we're making some changes. So if you were in Front Row CEO, and obviously everybody who's ever taken Front Row CEO gets the newest edition of the course. Um, once the course is completed, it's it's run. Uh, so um, we are moving from an hourly model to salary model. And we put a lot of thought into this and I have um, spoken at length with the owner of Online Jobs. And he's the one who actually got me thinking this way. So. Um, first of all, we always taught, we, we have shared how to use Hubstaff. Um, that is the, the platform that we use to keep track of VA hours. Um, it captures screenshots. It's a pretty cool piece of software. However, it's a little bit too complex for most people. I mean, people get, people end up figuring it out, but I think people get super frustrated with Hubstaff and also it's not cheap. And, um, and so uh, what John Jonas, the owner of Online Jobs, believes, and now I do too, and it's like, why didn't I always think this? And that is that um, salary is better, is much better for your VA. And it really ends up being much better for you as the CEO as well. And so what we are now doing in, at, in my business is is we are no longer doing hourly every day. Um, I mean, every Monday, my team gets paid a salary. Now I have a part-time person and I have a full-time person and, and, and every week they're going to get that. And then the question is like, well, what if they didn't work um, based on, you know, the salary is based on a 40 hour week and a 20 hour week. What if they really didn't do all that work? Well, what we're going to propose, what we're going to teach is that in the beginning and in, during the trial week, and maybe even for up to a month, um, I would say you could do hourly until you get a sense of this person's um, work habits and work ethic and all that kind of and performance, overall performance. Then after that, move to a salary model because so Christina says, let me just read her questions. Um Hey guys, quick question. Do most of you have a VA pay hourly or a set salary? If it's a set salary, do they get paid regardless of them having work, for example? Um, regardless of them having work, for example, it's a busy week and you, you cannot give them a lot of stuff to do. For the hourly folks, are they promised a set number of hours? And if they are not given enough work, what happens? Okay, so this is the perfect reason, one of the perfect reasons why. If you're paying that salary, right, whether or not you have work to give them, it's on you, right? But if you don't pay them, if you're saying like, hey, I'm, I'm going to pay you up to 40 hours a week, but you're only giving them 15 hours because you are so busy, you didn't have time to create work for them, um, then it's on, then they don't get, they don't get the hours that they were expecting. And ultimately it really just goes against everything we teach in front row CEO about having a partner about, about that's why your VA becomes such um, becomes your perfect match. Virtual assistant is because there's a trusted um, partnership and you can each count on each other for what you agreed to. So if you, if you said, I'm going to pay you for 40 hours a week, but you get so busy doing something else um, or you decide to take half the week off or whatever, and you're not, you don't have that work there for them. They suffer. And then, and then they're sort of left scrambling how to fill in the blanks. Uh, if you are paying them a salary, then there's sort of that pressure on you to make sure you always do have work for them to do. And that is not a bad thing. That is just going to really force you more into your systems and to make sure that you have things structured in such a way that um, you're never really going to have to have to worry about that. And so, um, you know, 
there are certain things that we talk about that, that they can always be doing, always be doing that there's an unlimited number of hours for, whether that's research or whether that is um, doing prospecting to get you on podcasts, right? Emailing people. There's, if, if you ended up not having immediate work for someone to do, there's always that fallback work that could fill in the time. And what really is going to happen more often than not is that if you have hired the perf- your perfect match VA, the per- person who is right for your business, then they're really oftentimes going to over deliver, right? They're not going to want to um, pull one over on you and be like, yeah, I'm getting salary. I'm only going to work 10 hours this week. If that's the case, then that, you know, you, you didn't, you didn't hire your perfect match VA. So we have moved to salary. Um, that saves, that saves everybody time. I mean, we, we were more or less set up that, that way anyway. Um, now time tracking is still a good idea. Um, that's because it just helps you get a better, um, idea, a better focus on what was spent on what, like what, what time was spent on what project or what task. And so you can use the free version of a free version of Clockify, ask your team. And it also allows you to assign certain time to certain projects. So allow or certain tasks. So your team can still keep track of the hours that they are working and on what, so you can know, so you can keep an eye on, um, workflow efficiency, how much to, you know, how much time to budget next time for a certain project based on how much time was spent this time around. So you could still do all that, but you will really are ultimately just going to pay them a salary. And if you do that, this person or these people are going to be loyal to you and, um, and they're going to have your back. And that is the really what the bottom line. I mean, maybe I should lead with that you're going to be giving them security and that is going to go such a long way for creating a dream team. Okay. So that's it. So that's my answer, Christina. And uh, if you, if you, if you have follow-up questions, just post them down below and, um, and I'll, I'll come back live again. So thank you so much for that timely question.